השם. So, בעזרת השם, we're gonna give that שיעור um, to women only. In Torah 160, Rabbeinu is saying, the pulse of the person is knocking inside of the man. And sometimes he is knocking inside and reminding the person that he should serve Hashem Barach. In the aspect of what it's written in Shir HaShirim, Kol Dodi Dofek, it's the voice of my uncle that is knocking. It's Hashem Barach that is calling us, waking us up to serve him. Velifamim, but sometimes, who must give it Adam la Avera? He's calling the person to sin. Chas v'shalom. Ki adofek ba min haneshima. Because the pulse is coming from breathing. Vehaneshima and breathing. Ba min ha'avir is coming from the air. Al yedei hadibur by the words. Ukfi hadibur and according to the words that the person is speaking. Kena se hadofek. The pulse has been created. Im letov. If to a good place or the opposite way this is a wake up call to watch our mouth and not to talk bad things and even if we got used to it so many years to talk without control on our mouths still we have to pay attention and to start praying on that every day that Hashem is going to give us the ability to control our mouth, all of our organs, that we're going to decide on what we're talking about, on what we're not talking about. Because it's not a class of Musar, it's not a rebuke at all. Just we understand here from Torah 160 in Likute Moran that bad things that a person wakes up to do chas shalom to damage, to ruin his own life, are coming because of his way of talking. So we don't want to ruin our own lives. And we want Bezrat Hashem to build our houses, like that it's written, Chochmat Nashim Banta Beita. The women wisdoms builds the house of the family. So actually every wife, she needs, every woman, have to be very wise to know what to say and what not to say. If the person is silent and is not talking at all, everyone going to assume that he is wise because Lo matzati la guf tov el ashtika. You cannot find something that's going to be better than to be quiet. But in the moment that that person is opening his mouth, if he's wise, you, you're going to reveal his wisdom. We're all going to be very happy to hear what it has got to say. But if he's got nonsense in his head, when he's going to open his mouth, he is actually, how you say, yasgir, turn himself over. He's turning himself over. He is revealing his stupidity. And this is something that's very important. That the person gonna think, every man, every woman, gonna think to himself before that he's talking, what he's talking. And now, after that, we learn that there are a lot of spiritual consequences that comes because of every word that we're talking. We should try to put our focus on that, to talk only good things. And if you see that you have a desire to talk, talk Lashon Ara, to say bad things, it's better to stop yourself from that and to pray to Hashem. Please, Ribbon Olam, help me to watch my mouth. Help me not to talk about things that just can ruin my life. That I'm not going to criticize no one. That I'm not going to judge no one. That I'm going to love everyone. That I'm going to support everyone. That I'm going to be positive. That I'm going to build and not going to ruin. Chas v'shalom. And women they have a bigger risk in that term because it's written in the Holy Gemara that tish'at, that ten asara kabin sicha yardu la'olam ten amounts of conversation came down to the world nine of them received the women the women they have a lot more ability to talk 
So every woman should watch herself that she will not gonna use her weapon to shoot herself, to shoot her family, to shoot her relatives and friends, just to point it all, all of your abilities and powers to prayers, to tefillot, to say tehillim, to say brachot, to say good words, to say thank you Hashem, to say I'm honoring Hashem Midbarach, let's honor Hashem Midbarach, let's do things for Hashem Midbarach. When you're using your abilities to those places and then you're going to see all of the success, all of the growth, all of the huge um, results that going to come out, being revealed because of your words of Torah, your words of prayers, you're going to be so happy. And every woman should believe in herself that she's got amazing powers to create things through her prayers. There is that wonderful book that Rav Shalom wrote that calls Women Wisdoms. And in that book, Rav is teaching that every woman have the ability to lead her house through her prayers, only through prayers with no hishtadlut, with no physical effort at all, with no screamings in the house, with no arguments at all. Just only you have an issue that you want to achieve, something you want to solve, something that you want to get. You need to stand in a quiet place and to reveal your heart to Hashem Barach, to share everything that you want, everything that you need with the Creator, with the one that said and by the words he created the world by talking he created the world just by talking so he that gave us power of speech this is power of speech to create things who amar olam he said and the world come to be if now you that it's your turn now to say you're gonna say the world gonna turn up to be like that you're gonna say to good or opposite chas shalom Bezrat Hashem, Hashem going to give us all only good news, new powers to serve Hashem Barach out of joy, out of happiness. Amen. Can you hear Ratzon?